Greetings everyone, it's Little Train Dancer 98 back out again with another of Jaden Animations stories. This is my birds laid eggs. Guess I already got himself a girlfriend. What do you know? Let's check it out and see what happens. Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've had a story to tell, but I have a story to tell, and it's because my birds accidentally laid eggs together without my consent. Okay, <coughs> I'm sure the majority of you know this guy right here, Ari. Classic mm -hmm. piece in the Jaden Animations lore. If you yep. don't know him, you don't know me. I keep Ari in his own room because he destroys literally anything if he has access to it. <coughs> in a way you could call it a containment room. But when I'm not around to give him attention, I wanted to make sure he has a friend around and isn't just sitting there all alone and pitiful like. So back in October 2019, I got tofu, which, oh tofu. my god, I'm just realizing is much longer ago than I thought. Tofu, I thought you were still just a baby. She mm -hmm. definitely isn't as well known as Ari, but we're talking about her now. I was so nervous back when Tofu first arrived because I obviously hadn't gotten any other pets before and it was really important that she and Ari actually got along. Birds can be pretty particular and some just flat out hate each other for no apparent reason. Some sort of bird drama. <laughs> Accurate. I've seen that happen between like two parakeets that were put in the same cage. They immediately started flying around, fighting each other like crazy. <laughs> yeah, they had to be separated fast. And then beaks and talons aren't any lie at that size. Because they're the same I size. Know. I was worried <laughs> my birds were going to mean girls each other, and then suddenly I'd have two singular birds, which then doubles my original problem. I went through the typical process you're supposed to do to introduce them, keep them in separate areas for a bit, let them kind of see each other, slowly introduce them in small doses. <laughs> slowly. <laughs> Might as well bring out the focus. Focus from the um, Onward movie. Suddenly they were best friends. I was so happy. Plan B of having to get four birds was now not <laughs> necessary. So great, everything was going according to plan. I have two birds that can keep each other company when I'm not around. Nothing could possibly go wrong when there's a pair of animals that get along very well. <laughs> peaceful, happy three years of two birds who were besties until this past spring where everything went wrong. How could this happen? I walked into the birds room to give them their morning food and on their dresser, I find three tiny little eggs. Oh, uh oh. And by the way, when I say tiny, I mean you would be shocked to see how small <laughs> bird eggs can be. Yeah. These things were the size of a quarter. Some of you may be thinking, Jaden, why is this a bad thing? Jaden, it's the gift of life. This is a beautiful moment of miracles. <laughs> okay, sure, but actually, no. First of all, I don't want more birds, especially fragile little fresh out the egg ones. Remember when I was worried I'd have to get four birds if Ari and Tofu didn't like each other? Why am I experiencing the same dilemma again? Two <laughs> birds is already enough, especially since one of them has devoted his entire life to being a full-time bastard. Anyone who has a gremlin... <laughs> FTB. <laughs> oh, God, someone hashtag that. That's got to be trending eventually. The full-time bastard. The FTB. Understands that that creature is equal to, like, three pets worth of energy. <laughs> it's a lot to handle at all times, Just... and if my plate gets any more full... I'll unlock alcoholism. So, well, this is now my <laughs> Just bring up the freaking this, bring up the freaking Xbox. Just like achievement achieved. Alcoholism, and before that was the X for doubt. That I need to handle ASAP. I can't be like, oh, I'm I'm busy right now. I'll deal with it later. No, procrastinating would only lead to possible hatching. Not 100%, but there's a chance I'll get to that later. Which leads back to my prior statement that I've stated multiple times at this point of I don't want more birds immediately Jeez. i was like how did this happen i've been preventing them from laying eggs together for so long what changed unlike cats and dogs birds can't really be neutered at least not easily you can get like <laughs> monthly hormone shots or there's other stuff oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> just why the, the speed the drill yeah, i'm like i'm just like uh what i don't know i don't want to know where that drill goes complicated and you're better <laughs> off simply making sure their environment is set up in a way to discourage nesting and egg laying behavior there's a few things you could do to prevent it but to sum things up basically don't let the birds nest if they find a dark little hidey hole they'll start treating it like a nest and get mm -hmm. hormonal and suddenly you've got eggs no nesting for the most part no problem I uh -oh. <laughs> and was so confused all they had in there were their cages 
climbing tree, and a drawer I bought to hold all their bird stuff. And the eggs were just on the top of the drawer too, not even in a safe burrowed nest-like place. One had already rolled off the side and cracked open on the floor like an omelet. Tofu, this is not even close to motherly instincts. <laughs> After a bit of snooping around, I pulled the drawer back from the wall to realize, oh my god, these birds have been secretly burrowing into the back of this drawer like they were plotting a prison <laughs> Somehow, Ari and Tofu squeezed their tiny bodies in between the drawer and the wall and started chewing the back of it to get into the drawers from behind. They literally gnawed through it like the nematodes in Spongebob. You, you should <laughs> Nematode. That's a pretty accurate conversation. The nematodes in Spongebob ate everything all the sawdust on the floor well here's a picture but it doesn't do it justice it looked like a construction site and <laughs> depot suddenly it made sense they were using the drawer as a secret nest whenever i was in the room they were out and about hi mom please give us seeds nothing nefarious is going on <laughs> I leave, and boom straight to the forbidden nesting drawer they go criminals as i'm connecting the dots on how we got to this point i realized I don't even know which one of these knuckleheads even laid the eggs. <laughs> when I got Tofu, I made sure she was a girl. A little lady. I talked to one of my bird knowledgeable friends when I was considering getting another, and she recommended a female bird because there was a higher chance Ari would get along with her more than a male bird. So Tofu has been DNA checked and female certified. <laughs> However, way back when I got Ari, I never got him slash her checked. Green cheek conure genders can only be confirmed through DNA tests, and there wasn't really any important reason to know Ari's gender at the time, so I just didn't. Over the years, I've just started calling him my big man because of the way he acted and behavior he displayed <laughs> felt very obnoxiously masculine, but it was always more of a gut feeling above anything else. But I am now facing a possible reality that my bird I've had for seven years that I've been headcanoning is male could have been female this whole time and is the potential mother of these confusing eggs. <laughs> yes, Birds don't need a male around to lay eggs. Think about it like chickens. They just be laying eggs out the wazoo without a rooster in sight. They don't care. Boom, egg. <laughs> if it's a girl bird, that thing can lay eggs whether you or a male bird wants it to or not. So in this situation, Ari possibly being a girl is the thing that's blowing my mind. <laughs> the, 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 the egg situation is hilarious with just the fact that Ari being a girl is what blows her mind and just like yeah fair comparison fair comparison quick peek at their little bird booty hole <laughs> gave me the answer it's definitely tofu if, if you know you know I'm just saying laying three eggs a quarter the size of your whole body by a <laughs> does something to you anyway uh, I immediately booked a vet visit for tofu laying eggs drains birds of their calcium and overall health so I wanted to make sure she was generally okay the vet took a look at her and was like she looks fine she's acting fine we'll give her some vitamins but she's still got more eggs in her what Tofu, how many of those things you're gonna cook up? Also, we gotta limit this whole ordeal to as minimal as possible, please, because that vet bill was not fun. Don't be making this a routine occurrence. It's no. Yeah, vet bills are not cheap. I should know. I remember my poor dog. Mystery laying eggs can also be pretty dangerous for birds. There's a chance it could get stuck and the bird just dies. And to be honest, I really didn't want that to happen. So every egg meant an extra mountain of stress and anxiety for me. <laughs> me, Conyers typically lay eggs every other day, so once she goes a few days without laying any, then I can come back and get her another checkup to really make sure she's all good. So I let time pass. What egg, what egg alien years later? Jeez. Tofu ended up laying eight freaking eggs. She was not supposed to lay that many. <laughs> she lay clutches of like four or five. So she basically laid two birds worth of eggs. <laughs> I I don't know what to do. <laughs> Alright, she's finally done. We can now move on to the second step in the what to do when your bird lays eggs without your permission plan. I, I didn't know they needed permission. I have to swap out the eggs for fake ones. If I just yoink Tofu's eggs away, she's gonna be like, what the fuck? 
My eggs? Dude, what the hell? I just laid those. And she's biologically programmed to start laying more to replace them. Luckily, my friends Jordan and Kelsey had some fake Conure eggs because coincidentally, their bird laid eggs like six months prior to Tofu, so they already went through this process and were definitely supplying me with mental support. They lent <laughs> me their fake eggs, I swapped them out, and perfect. Tofu is now trying to be a mother of eight balls of plastic. <laughs> After a few weeks of them not hatching, she'll move on, forget all about them, and every Everything will return to normal. It was a successful heist. As in, I gave them both treats, stole all their eggs right in front of them, and they did not notice. You might be realizing, even though Tofu's eggs won't hatch, I still am in possession of actual real bird eggs that may or may not be fertilized. Yep, as much as Ari could have been the mother, he could also be the father. I <laughs> we don't know. Big drama. Are you the father more like, is there even a father? <laughs> is there even a father? And he's just like, ah! the vet and various bird resources i basically had to make sure no birds could start growing in them just in case even though it's very likely they were just empty little chicken eggs we couldn't run the risk by the various resources aforementioned i was given a few options i was told i could smash them <laughs> which felt a tad bit too violent <laughs> for me oh tofu are these your little eggs the first eggs you've ever laid in your life <laughs> <laughs> I am dying. <laughs> the little eggs you ever laid in your life. <laughs> Poor tofu. <laughs> oh my god. Absolutely not. Yeah. I'll freeze them. Just put them in a little container, pop them in the freezer, and there you go. But the last option, which mm. sounded the most <laughs> insane in my opinion, was to boil them. Make tiny little boiled eggs. <laughs> Why does that one sound the most deranged and psychopathic? <laughs> people consume all types of bird eggs all over the world, but boiling my own Conyers eggs just feels like <laughs> <laughs> mental sanity. <laughs> Gosh, this is killing me. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Boiling the eggs was the most psychotic sounding option, Irie. Oh. Poor Tove was just like, my eggs. <laughs> I love Jane. Their presentation's always hilarious. Like, oh boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I popped them in the freezer to hang on to whatever humanity I had left after <laughs> all this. And they've been there ever since. I, I still have them. I'll go to grab a popsicle and be like, oh, hello, tofu eggs. <laughs> Even though they won't hatch, they, they still feel special. They're my little baby tofu's little baby eggs. I don't want to just throw them away like they're nothing. I'll just keep them in my freezer forever. <laughs> somehow the most sane option I was given. Some people might be like, Jaden, you should have tried to let them hatch. But you do not understand. I am absolutely definitely not qualified to raise baby birds i promise this was the best thing to do for everyone <laughs> for me for the eggs for ari and tofu <laughs> ari's still just giving him the me mug because ari would have been an awful father <laughs> or, or mother so that's <laughs> what i've been dealing with over the past few months tofu's fine now she's essentially back to normal i have since removed the secret nest drawer they have claimed i'm sure they weren't too happy about that one. <laughs> hey, you so people will tell me oh you're the reason i want a bird and i always think to myself <laughs> man that's unfortunate <laughs> That's unfortunate. Ah, jeez. Majority of people are not suited to own a bird. Case one, they can cut through furniture like chainsaws. Case two, they could lay eggs and curse you to put them in the freezer like the egg murderer you are. <laughs> or, or worse. <laughs> or worse. The boiling pot again. With all my heart. But if anyone ever asks me if they make good pets, I turn into the biggest hater. And if you're a good bird owner, You'd probably agree with me. Birds are beautiful, intelligent, loyal companions. But they're also knife tornadoes who can force you to question your own mortality as you spend a fortune on vet bills. 
vet bills, the um, noise complaint, the repair invoice, the torn up walls. Yeah, yeah, that's accurate. Thanks for watching. Hey, by the way, do you want to see me in person <clears throat> in the flesh? James Ross, Dom, Aaron, and I are all going back on tour again. Hey, you know, I just realized something. I don't know how people do it when they have the, um, like, uh, raptor birds or owls or eagles. Like, you know, people who raise the predator birds. Like, how do you deal with those frickin' knife-wielding talon holders? Jesus! And frickin' machete beaks and everything. Just like, ugh. Because if those guys are mini knife tornadoes, what's an owl or a, or a hawk or an eagle going to be like for you? Oh, my gosh. Those guys are experts. No wonder they went to college. <laughs> and probably a technical school while they're at it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I was dying through half of it. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jaden gets me every time with her humor. I love it. Anyway, I'm gonna keep on reacting to her. Like I said, I have a, I'll have a new um, upload schedule this upcoming week between Ultraman Taiga episodes, the Super Sentai, Common Rider, and then of course probably a Jaden episode here or there. Cause it's been awesome being able to laugh that hard at her videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are good. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys like about the new uploads going to be coming up. Because I'm going to take a break from a bridge series because I feel like you guys aren't big on that. So I wanted to give that a break until you, it gains more traction. So until then, I'm going to take a quick break from those. You know, maybe a week or two, maybe three. Who knows? But yeah, like I said, so my update schedule will be that for now. And I hope you guys are enjoying my video reactions. And if you have any requests, let me know in the comments. I read all comments. You guys take care. I'll see you around. Bye.